Hey guys, Brian here with a Vainglory video and today we're going to be taking a look at Adagio. Now first I want to go over his kit and talk about how he's really strong and then I'll show you some clips where these um, abilities come into play. Now the first one is Adagio's passive, which is Arcane Renewal. It's a heroic perk. Um, Adagio recharges energy whenever enemies burning with arcane fire take damage from any source. This is really good because it is going to give him high sustain in the lane and when in the jungle. So you are going to get that <clears throat> energy back so you can use more abilities. Let's go ahead and look at his A ability really quick. Next up we have Adagio's A ability. Now this gives Adagio great utility. Um, it can also be his main damage source, it can be used to heal your allies, and can also be used to clear minions really, really well. It has some really unique interactions. You can also put this on Petal's Onions, which I'll show you guys a little clip of here in a second. And you can also use this to heal Kraken. A lot of people didn't know that. So let me go ahead and show you a really quick clip of Adagio going ahead and using this on Petal's Onions. Now what makes this interaction really unique is that Petal's Onions are going to go ahead and follow enemy heroes. So when you apply the burn onto there, it is going to go ahead and follow those heroes and pick up the kill for us, which is awesome. Another really cool thing about his A ability is on Crystal Adagio, you can be really, really low and go ahead and use your Gift of Fire on yourself and you are going to heal yourself up massively. As you can see there, I just went from basically nothing to a massive loads of HP. Up we have Adagio's B ability. Now this ability, Agent of Wrath, is a great utility ability or it can also be a really high damage ability for you yourself. Um, when you build Crystal Adagio, this can be great to apply to yourself and do massive damage. When you build Tank, you want to normally apply this ability to anybody who has high weapon power, so a Saw or a um, Glaive you can put it on, maybe a Jewel. Um, you can build Weapon Adagio, however I don't think it's the strongest. So um, I think this is really, really good actually with um, Crystal Adagio too because you are going to increase the burn for anybody with um, Arcane Fire on them which you're going to get from your A ability and uh, it's just an overall great boost. So let me show you an example of how this ability is going to help you win fights. Alright guys, so as you can see here, I'm going to open up with my ult. I am going to get in a fight with another Adagio. I'm going to go ahead and proc my Q on him and then put the W on him for additional burn damage. I'm going to get really, really low here, so I'm going to run into the bush, apply the Q to myself for the heal, and get him a burning. And that is going to be enough to go ahead and pick up the kill. So the W additional burn damage probably saved me there, which is really awesome. So his B ability is really, really strong. Alright, and for the final ability on Adagio, we're going to have the Verse of Judgment. This is his ultimate. Um, Adagio is going to channel for two seconds, then deals grievous wounds, which is not going to let them heal um, if they have any, li say, lifesteal or crystal uh, lifesteal. It's going to be a massive AoE stun. Here's the important part of this, though, if they are burning with arcane fire. So that is something I forget a lot on Adagio, so it's really, really important to go ahead and put the his A ability on yourself, and then go ahead and pop his ultimate. Um, but it's just going to apply so much pressure to your teammates and it can t really turn a fight for you guys. So let me show you guys some examples of Adagio's ultimate and how it can be used. Alright guys, so here we have a great example of Adagio's ultimate. I went ahead and put it in slow motion. I proc the Q on myself. I go ahead and pop his ultimate. I use my Crucible to give the reflex box. And I get the two stuns on Scarf and Catherine. Now me and Arden, the new champion, are going to go ahead and clean up this fight. And I think it's because we were able to take out their highest DPS member, which was Scarf here. I'm going to go ahead and be using my Q on whoever needs the heal. Arden at this point is super tanky, so I'm going to go ahead and still use it on him. We're going to kite back here, and it's it was 2v3, and now it's 2v2. It looks like we might be able to turn this fight. He is going to turn, go ahead and get the super tanky Catherine really, really low. I'm going to Q myself to try to heal myself. Go ahead and live barely with one auto attack from Petals Onion is going to be able to kill me. I'm going to live there. I'm going to go back and see if I can assist Arden in killing him. He looks pretty low and we did it. We got the 2v3 there which was absolutely crazy. And I think I turned that fight because of my ultimate. They are not able to see it if you are in a bush channeling. So that is something you guys need to keep in mind. Um, but yeah, let's move on to the next clip. Alright, so here we are in the next clip. We have just released Kraken, and I go ahead and run in, pop my ult and my reflex box. I only get the stun on one. Arden has a great ultimate. Unfortunately, our teammate is going to go down, and it is just going to be me and Arden left once again in a 
2v2 now. We did get one down, so he is going to go ahead and pop that beautiful ultimate. I'm going to go ahead and try to heal him up and give him um, arcane fire as much as I can. I'm sorry, gift of fire. And we're going to go ahead and kill Catherine there and go ahead and go on to win the game with Kraken. Arden and Adagio are just an OP combo in my eyes. Arden is a great new champion. He's a lot of fun. You guys should definitely check him out. Um, and Adagio is just super duper strong too. If you guys are also looking for builds on Adagio, I am going to go ahead and put a link down in the description down below. You guys can visit VainGloryFire.com. Also visit Vainglory's website. And if you guys haven't played before, be sure to play. It is an awesome game. You guys can add me in game. Um, and I will hope to see you guys there. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know what you guys thought about this video in the comments down below. And you guys like, comment, subscribe, and take it easy.